Hey guys, and welcome back to the third video in my NumPy tutorial series. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the different math operations pretty well that we can do on different arrays of different sizes. I'm going to be talking about dot products, inner products, uh, element wise operations, a bunch of fun stuff. So make sure you guys stick around for the whole video. So anyways, I've got, just got two arrays here, uh, X and Y. And what I want to do is I want to add the elements. So like one plus five, two plus six, three plus seven, four plus eight, so on. So uh, intuitively, you would think you can just do this x plus y and in that case you would be correct so you can uh, apply the standard operations addition subtraction multiplication and division which i will go through now there's another way that you can do this as well and you can do np dot add and you can do x comma y like so and you get the exact same result again if we want to store these values uh, we need to store them in a new array so if i do something like z equals print z then we have that now stored in a new array called z Next one uh, is subtract. So let's do the same thing here. So x minus y, you can see we get negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four. Um, now, same thing if we do np dot subtract x and y and the exact same thing. Now it's <laughs> the identical for multiplication and sub uh, division, but I do wanna show you multiplication because some of you that know a bit about linear algebra might be confused on how this multiplication works. So if I do X multiplied by Y, any of you that don't know linear algebra are gonna say, okay, I'm just gonna get one multiplied by five, two by six, three by seven, and you'd be correct in that case. This is because we're doing element wise multiplication. Now what that means is we're simply just multiplying all of the corresponding elements. So like row one, column one, row two, column two, so on. We're just multiplying those together and storing them in a new array. If we wanna do um, matrix multiplication, which I'm gonna show later, it's a different command. Now, same thing here. When we go multiply and then X, Y, then we get the same thing and division I don't think I need to talk about it too much. We get the exact same thing done element wise uh, and you can do mp.divide. Now, last one to show here, and this one, there's no like uh, short form for it. You have to type mp.sqrt if you wanna get the square root of every element. So for example, an x, and we get the square root. So these are useful operations um, and they're good to know. And it's also neat that you can uh, ignore using this like dot multiply dot subtract and you can simply just apply the operation like you would think you'd be able to do. Okay, so now let's talk about dot products. So I'm gonna create two new arrays here. I'm gonna do v is equal to uh, np dot array. And in this case, let's just give it values of nine, 10. And then let's go w is gonna be equal to np dot array values of, oops, what am I saying here? Uh, 11 and 13, let's do this, why not, okay? So we have V and W. Now, if I wanna take the dot product of these two vectors, I could go through the tedious um, picking out each element in the array and doing it myself, but uh, like you might assume, NumPy has a trick for that. So we can simply do something like V dot W. In this case, we're gonna get a scalar, which is two, two, nine. Now, if you guys don't know anything about linear algebra and you don't know what this is, don't worry about it. Simply what this dot product does is it's gonna multiply um, the corresponding value. So we're gonna say nine multiplied by 11 plus 10 multiplied by 13. And that's the value that we get here, two, two, nine. Now, another way we can do this is NP dot dot. And then in here, we'll put our two. So we say V and W like so, and we're gonna get the exact same answer. Now, this dot product is only gonna give us a scalar if we're multiplying vectors of the same size. So we have a vector, or I'm saying vector, but really it's an array as well of 11, 13. So this is a one by two, and this is a one by two. So that's gonna allow us to give a dot product that gives us a scalar. Now I wanna show you an example of what happens if I multiply um, vectors, matrices, whatever, arrays of uh, different size and show you what we get. So if I do something like, let's see here, np dot dot, and then remember I made x and y up here, and we have multiple dimensions in here. So we have two rows and two columns, so x and y. We actually get um, what's known as the inner product of these matrix matrices. So we didn't simply um, just dot product like all the vectors in here together and, and add them. Um, we actually did the inner product. Now I'm not going to explain the inner product because now we're getting too far into linear algebra, um, but that's how you can do that with uh, matrices if you guys know what those are. Okay. 
Now, another thing that we can do is we can transpose a matrix or a vector. And what that simply means to do is to write all of the rows um, in columns and all of the columns in rows, so like vice versa. So we are pretty much just flipping all of the rows into columns. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm just gonna print X and you can see that we get a matrix that goes one, two, three, four. Now, if I do X dot T, and this is all you have to do is this is very simple. This is gonna transpose our matrix and you can see that we now get one, three, two, four. So this column has been written as the row and then this column has been written as the second row. Again, if we wanted to, well, reverse the operation, so we said like, I don't know, h equals x dot t, then h is gonna be our transpose matrix again. We wanna reverse that, you do h dot t, and we're gonna get back to one, two, three, four. Now the last one I wanna show is sum. Now we can, uh, NumPy has a built-in sum function, so I do something like n, np dot sum, and just give it an array here. So I'm gonna give it x, and you can see we get a sum of 10 plus one plus three plus two plus four all the other way around one plus two plus three plus four um, gives us 10. And if we want to sum just one row or, or just all the rows or all the columns or so on like that, um, we can actually do something which is really cool. And this is np.sum, we'll give it our array x and we can specify an axis that we want to sum. Uh, and I'll show you what this prints up. So the axis is gonna be which column you wanna sum. So if I do that, you can see we get four and six. So we have our column here, which is gonna be, or sorry, our row actually, cause I said axis equals zero, not axis equals one, um, excuse me there. So we get one, three, which is the first sum, four, and we get two, four, which is the second sum of six. And it stores that in, well, a new array. So if now, if I wanna sum all of the columns, not the rows, I will do axis, is equal to one and you can see I get three seven so one plus two three plus four and we get three seven like that now I encourage you guys to play around with a lot of the stuff I've shown here there's a lot of cool things you can do with them um, and I'm only kind of showing the basis because I want you guys to discover them on your own anyways that's been it for this video uh, if you guys enjoyed please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one